the reason we're here today is our Premier League Primary Stars Regional Tournament. We're here at the Dome, uh, the Watford FC training ground. We've had 32 primary schools come down to compete for the right to represent Watford FC at Vicarage Road in the national final, which is going to be taking place in May. So the schools that took part today, they were they're all invited down. They are our Premier League Primary Stars partner schools. So they're schools that work with us on our Primary Stars program. This could be within the PE program, the Maths, the PSHE program, in as, as, as many hours or as little hours a week, but they all at some point work alongside us. Um, so it's fantastic to invite them down and give them a bit of a reward for, for their hard work and services that they provide to us. So the structure of the day, we've had four groups of eight, of eight teams. Uh, they've been playing football since about nine o'clock in the morning. The winners of the groups go through to the semi-finals and obviously through to the finals. So it's been a long day, a lot of football, but a lot of good football as well, which has been really pleasing. So today we were lucky enough to have a couple of the uh, Watford first team players, Daniel Backman and Nathaniel Chalabar come down, the Watford ladies players come down and also Nigel Pearson actually surprised us and, and came down today as well which was fantastic. We went round, done some autographs and some photos which made a massive difference to the children. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity coming to this tournament uh, and then for the players and the manager to come, it, you know, it, it doubles that and it's fantastic you know, for them to meet their heroes. So the winners of the tournament were Radlett Prep School, so they beat Warren Dell in the final, comfortably in the end, which was quite a surprise. Uh, they were probably both of the, uh, the better teams going throughout the day. They were fantastic throughout the whole of the tournament, uh, but Radlett Prep probably deserved winners in the day. Yeah.